All right, well, I believe this is part two of our little lubricizer video on our uh, Lyman 4 450. So I've got a few more parts built. Let's go ahead and put together what we've got and see where we're at because I've been away from this for oh, a week or so and um, see what we need to do. So here's our little lubricizer and we had this part already built or this was we still had this one we needed a nut it's just a standard it's a 5 16th and I still have to build the ejector rod that goes down through that but there's our adjuster with a nut and here's our ram built it's built out of I believe 4140 that's what I had here we've already got it cross drilled we've got the um, got a drilled and tap for the set screw that holds the top punch in place and that sits in there just like that um, I've got some factory hitch pins but they're a little bit too long so we're gonna have to drill them drill and um, shorten them up a little bit so this goes on like this I believe this is gonna sit down See, this will go on. I think we want to deburr this just a little bit more. It'll have to be have to be polished out and everything yet, but I think we want to let's just lightly deburr the edges on it so we don't chew up our casting where we've got contact on it. Yeah, that'll take quite a bit of smoothing yet, but let's see what that does for us here. On this side, yeah, those pins will both have to be shortened up and redrilled. I think that gives us plenty of travel there. Step out of the way. So that looks pretty good. So I think the only thing we've got left to do is rework these link pins and put cotter keys in them, get a nut for there, which I've got here. I've already got the set screw for that. We'll have to build that uh, ejector pin and then turn the uh, retainer there. I uh, ran a few things through the blowing tank. Here's our ejector actuator there. And I discovered that my RAM that I assumed was 4140, um, apparently it was stainless steel. I grabbed it out of my out of my scrap bin and turned it and it turned very much like 4140 I didn't bother to check it but uh, it didn't take a bluing at all so it was it would either be 303 or 416 and it acted quite a bit like 416 so I'm assuming that's what it, what it was so anyway we've got it done I did forget to to blue my links and I still have a couple little pieces to build I've got to build the rod that goes down through here this is the rod off of the other one and then the retainer it's got to be threaded and built so I haven't done those yet so I'll get those done and then I'll have to blue the links I don't have the cap for that yet but we'll get that turned to that I probably will make out of stainless anyway let's get this back together and see how it's gonna act the um, hitch pins that go through there's the two hitch pins that go through the linkages they were a little bit long they're just factory pins so I redrilled those and turned them down so they're closer to the proper length and we'll put a, a, a probably a skinny lock nut on there when we after we get everything fitted up so I'll have to uh, have to get one of those this should go right through there like that I'll just drop a cotter pin in to hold it for now we're not going to completely spread them that one in there. This will go up and in between.
All right. Well, this project's almost done. Got the retainer, got the cap to go on top, and an ejector rod. So we'll get those set up here in the next few days, and next time we fire up the bluing tanks again, why well, we'll see if we can't get all that blued, and we'll bolt this back down into position. We'll be done with this project. So if you find these videos helpful, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you give me a thumbs up, you'll know when I put out a new video. And any comments, suggestions, leave them in the comment section for me below. And thanks for taking the time to watch.